The CRC Handbook of Chemistry and Physics contains information about the chemical and physical properties of organic and inorganic substances, their structures and compositions, and much more. This tutorial will walk you through how to browse the different sections of the handbook, as well as how to use the text search and structure slash property search options. You can browse the handbook using the table of contents just as you would in a print book. Click on the plus sign to the left of Section 3, Physical Constants of Organic Compounds. You will see two different subsections, each with the option of displaying either a regular data table or an interactive data table. Keep in mind that these tables can sometimes take a while to load. A faster way to find information about just one substance is to use the text search option. The text search box is located in the top right hand corner of every page. Click on the text search box type in the name of a substance or a keyword, and then click Go. The search results page will show you which sections of the handbook contain information about the substance. You will see that the interactive table is still available under the Physical Constants of Organic Compounds section. When clicked on, the table should load much more quickly since only the portion relevant to your search will be displayed. Mouse over each column title on the chart to learn more about it. You can also sort the information according to a heading by clicking on it. In the top left corner, there are icons to filter, print, and export the table. If you click the filter icon, you will see a list of options that can be used to narrow your search further. Next, we will go over how to find information about a substance by using the structure slash property search option. Click on the link located just below the text search box. You will see that you can search either by drawing a chemical structure or by entering information in the Chemical Properties section below. This tutorial will explain how to use the Chemical Properties option to conduct your search. In the leftmost column, there's a list of properties to choose from. These include the name of the substance, its chemical formula, and its Chemical Abstract Service or CAS registry number. Click on Add another property to display more properties that can be used in your search. For instance, melting point and boiling point. Check the boxes next to the ones you would like to add and then click on Apply Changes. The new search boxes will appear at the bottom of the list. You can also remove a property by clicking the X in the far right column. For hints on how to enter information for a particular property, click the question mark to the right of its value box. The easiest way to search for information on a particular chemical is to enter its CAS registry number, if it is known. Then click on Search. Just as with the text search, the results page will show you which sections of the handbook contain information about the substance. Again, you can click on an interactive table to display only the portion of it that is relevant to your search. Multiple properties can also be combined in a search if they are known. When searching a chemical name, benzene for example, many names that include benzene will be found. You can narrow your results by adding the chemical formula to your search. Keep in mind that the formula field is case sensitive, so you will need to make sure that you use capital letters. As you can see, there are three main ways to look for information in the handbook. Browsing the table of contents, searching using the text search box, and searching using the structure slash property search option. Information about how to cite the Handbook of Chemistry and Physics is located under the preface in the table of contents. Click the link and then scroll down to the third page where you will see the recommended form of citation. If you need more help using the handbook, you can click on the Help Contents tab. There are also help sheets and additional resources available on the U of M Library's Chemistry Subject Guide.